Welcome back to the Western Wilds on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 7 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Load number one down to the train yard on my afternoon of logging. Uh, this will be, I'm just going to show you me delivering. I'm not going to show me doing the logging. Don't worry about that. I'm not sure how many loads I'm going to do. Maybe three, possibly four. We'll see how we get on. It's November, folks. We made it. As you've already seen, three monster loads. I've still got a load of uh, timber. I've cut down lumber and piled up some because I'm probably going to do some wood chips at a later date, not necessarily now. I've been over to the sawmill. We've got 10 pallets of planks this morning. And I'm down here at the train yard because it's the best price. So we're going to get those unloaded. We're then going to head over to the main, I say farm area. I'll show you what I've been clearing. We've cleared a fair bit. Actually, we should be able to... Um, what's two, two going to do me? 11 grand again? Uh, that one there. We're now up to 73 trees cut down. What was I on the last time? 29? We've done a few. Um, so I've, I've put some time in. Time played, 13 hours, 58 so far. I was only 20, I was 20 hours in on my previous save game, and that was up to... Oh, yeah, that was up to episode 5. So I've, I've almost... I'm almost up to where I was. You can tell how much logging I've been doing, um, which is fantastic. But when we get back over to the main farm area, we'll have a look at the potatoes. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I know I'm pleasantly surprised. And then we're going to be heading off to the biogas plant. We're going to take potatoes first. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is probably get that same uh, collection head that I used for doing the swathing, because I can use that for silage. We'll get that. And what we'll do is all the silage that should now be fermented, actually I haven't checked the both the silos, they should be. Anything that's now fermented at the biogas plant, I'm going to put all of that into biogas plant and then probably buy it. Um, I'm going to put all the stuff in first because hopefully when I buy it, it's then going to process for me and not someone else, I think. If I buy it first, then I don't. We'll, we'll, we should get paid for it and then we'll buy the biogas plant. I know it's a little bit naughty. You can only do it once. You can only get away with that once. It's not like you can, I suppose, if you bought it, sold it, bought it, sold it, maybe you could, but I'm not sure how that would work. But anyway, all good. So, since last I saw you, I've done, we've had a couple of mod reviews, we've had a couple of map tools, we've had um, the new AGI pack came out. So there's been a few videos I've done, it's all been rather um, exciting. Uh, the mod review I did yesterday had some really cool stuff in it to help with pallet limits. 
Now I've, I have got liftable pallets on. I'm using a forklift now. If I wanted to, I could just pick these up by hand because I have got liftable pallets on. Um, but, I mean, like off-camera stuff, I could probably use it. But for doing this, I will do it with the forklift. But there's also the mods I looked at yesterday, the Omatana one. It's got storage and silo combined with some containers or some, some trailers for transportation. There's the one that... Um, Oh, my mind's gone blank as to who made it. Um, doesn't matter. Whoever it was that made it. Um, the increased pallet capacity. So, if you have that on, you can't have that with the little pallets mod. But if you have that on, each pallet, rather than being like these ones, would be 1,000 litres. They are five times larger. So, any base game material, any base game product, will be five times larger in capacity, which means you, you don't have to have as many pallets. So if I was producing, well, like these, I've got 10,000 litres, I would have only had two pallets rather than 10. So it, it kind of, yeah, it, it gives you five times as much pallet capacity. I mean, that, that basically is what it means. Uh, so yeah, we've had some interesting stuff. And obviously the pallet limit changed as part of the update. Um, on PCM uh, Mac, it was 300 it's gone up to. On PS4 and old gen Xbox, it's 75. On new gen Xbox and PS5, it's 150. So we have had a few changes. It's all been a little bit you know, up in here. So yeah, we've got a few jobs to get done today. I'm going to crack on with those. We are, you know, we are doing really well now. I'm really happy with where we're at financially. I'm not sure we're going to buy when it's buy a tractor yet or to get some more gear. I know I've done it before, I know I've said before, how many carriages. But it's the sound as it's going over the points and stuff, it's, just, I mean, it's brilliant. Anyway, we're going to head back. I don't know if I've done that too tightly, but we should be all right. And let's check out how much I've cut, the lumber we've got left in the pile. I'm thinking of buying the um, stationary wood chipper that, that came out the other day. That wasn't too expensive. And I can just take piles of lumber using my telehandler, drop them into it, and we can just produce wood chips. I was looking at all different wood chippers, and I was looking at all the... I mean, there's some really cool wood chippers. Um, I was waiting for the, um, the, tub, the tub one from Black Sheet Modding. I was hoping that was going to come out. But as you can see, our boundary, our border, runs pretty much up the side of those rocks in that direction. If I open up the map now... We're just, I mean, we're pretty much just over the boundary. So it leads up that direction. Um, so we've cut all the way back to there. You can see the pile of logs over there in a heap. I have been round clearing all the stumps. I may have missed some here and there. I'm also deciding what to do with the rest of this. I think over this side, I might plough it out and put it in as a crop. I, I haven't decided. Um, with the AGI stuff that came out the other day, we have now got um, an auger, seed treatment auger which uses any crop you want and with a bit of liquid treatment you can produce your own seed so I'm thinking the fact I did an entire field of wheat there probably hasn't worked out too bad I'm thinking as well um, thanks to Rob and Jeremy and everyone that's commented all the people that have been messaging me um, because we've got potatoes growing and sunflower, bees, we need beehives, of course we do, we need to get some beehives in that's always a good staple but look at our potatoes, in a month We've got two, four, no, two, four, seven, because that holds eight. So up to seven. So we've got 21 pallets of potatoes, 21,000. It's not a huge amount, but it was like, and we've got two pallets of sunflowers. Already there, haven't to harvest it, done. Just plucked off of the, the uh, sunflowers themselves. 2,000 litres sitting there. Although, that's interesting. I've got liftable pallets on. Any new pallets are supposed to spawn. They're saying one ton as well. Hmm, curious. Never mind. Looks like I'm going to be busy using the skidsy loader then to load those up. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to be moving the silage and at the biogas plant as well, I need to convert over the wood trailer, so I need to put the slatted sides back in. So what we'll do now is go to our toolbox. Uh, we want to go on to the Adranti customize and we want to go from four side to oh, 
that's what we want to be on four sides we've already had it on that so it's not going to cost us anything so we put our slatted sides back on we're good to go and to connect the tractor back up right so uh, I guess next time you'll see me yeah we, we've been busy we, we've done all right you know we've, we've tipped over that you know scrabbling around for, for money at the moment 223 grand also means we could probably buy another plot I don't know whether to buy another forestry plot next door or look at plots well that's something I was going to say I meant to say over at the um, rail yard where you've got the to put on the pallets for productions and you have to lift them up because the trigger's not on the floor Gaz sent me a brilliant picture he's bought the plot and he's put a ramp just he's just put a ramp up to the side of the, the, tra the train car so you can just back a trailer up and it because you're at the right height then it takes them automatically off the, off the trailer brilliant idea absolutely fantastic so uh yeah i've got i've got stuff to do busy busy boy now i'm hoping that when we get there that trailer's shifting on its own isn't it i'm hoping that when we get there it will take them off the trailer i was hoping i could pick these up by hand as well because that was so Going on the track there. Um, yeah, I was hoping that hasn't done that before. Why is that all of a sudden? The trailer's moving. Yeah, I was hoping I could pick these up by hand. <laughs> I was going to try and save myself a bit of time. But it looks like uh, this mod doesn't allow for that. But at the end of the day, it's all good. Let's push those up so I can get them easier. That straight and I was thinking it was going to and I'll start loading up potatoes first then silage we'll see where we stand and then hopefully before the end of the episode we'll own a biogas plant and then we'll be producing methane so another step in the right direction I don't know what we'll get paid for any of this stuff it may not be a huge amount of money but we're doing all right so what some of those trees the, the old monster log ones wow okay that's not gonna work <laughs> so I really want to be able to move two of these at a time so I think what I'm going to do is go and grab a telehandler and I'll use that this is going to have to be for lighter weight stuff or I might just keep this for forestry or keep it over the sawmill or I don't know the way. right, see you later on I'm racing the rain now, I think. I haven't checked the weather forecast to see when it's coming, but it does say rain up there. I don't know why I didn't think of putting the pallets into the trailer in the first place. It made more sense. Why bother lugging over loads of pallets? I'm also thinking as well, now I said about getting a silo 
Uh, there's the new Omitano, I mentioned sort of pallet and silo buildings. About maybe getting one of those for the farm? Because that way we can store pallet stuff away and, you know, we can kind of do a bit of everything. I don't know, yeah, I'm, I'm weighing up. We, a silo is the, sort of the next thing I guess I need to look at. Um, obviously there's the uh, biogas situation about whether we buy one or not. Uh, we want that on. If I'm going to get into the trigger, I might have come at this at the wrong angle. She's supposed to take potatoes, so I'm assuming it's just going to be, uh, say, a normal. That doesn't really go backwards. I think I'm caught on something. I am. Do another swing round. Terrible angle. Unless I need to be backing onto it, but we'll see. That should be better. Well, that's a worry. We're not going to trigger coming up. That will be white. I wasn't on the trailer. Right, okay. Let's tip these in. It's only 21,000 litres. We're going to get a huge amount, but it goes towards what the biogas plant's going to be producing, so why wouldn't we? And we're going to produce a load, those, those um, open air gardens have barely used any of the stuff I put in them. That was tw 12 grand. <laughs> Can't odds that. I mean, that's, that's the cost of one of the gardens with the, uh, the extra water container and the um, seed. That was it was eleven thousand and something. So in one month we've paid for it. That's brilliant. So what I've got to do now? Is to pipe out. I'm going to be on that, I think. Actually, assuming of course this is done fermenting, I didn't think to check that. Or I probably should have done. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just assumed it would be in two months. I thought, well, yeah, of course it'll be done, won't it? what we wanted to be doing this thing works brilliant I mean this is kind of what this is I say it's designed for it's, it will pick up pretty much anything but silage clamp work this is perfect save so much time with buckets and conveyor belts and all that kind of stuff so I say it works a little bit like the milling machine did it's the kind of new version of I suppose really. Very happy. So we'll get all of the. Uh, what was it? It was 200. I'm sure it was 259,000 liters or something like that. Not a terrible angle. Went over the. I thought it was going to take a lot longer to get 45,000 liters in here, but actually it's not going to take that long to put it all in. I'm, I'm seriously considering as well. Do I look at once I put the biogas plant? I know logging's working out well, I know I'm going to make money on the potatoes, I'm going to make money on... I, once that grass is all grown again, I can cut it again, put it all in here again, I should get more. I'm curious to see actually what we'll get next time. Um, let's turn that off, just drop it off. Yeah, I'm curious to see what we'll get next time. As last time it was just like the meadow grass, it was just what was there. The fact we've um, ploughed, lined, fertilised twice, how much more grass we'll get. I oh, know, because we've only got half of the plot, haven't we? Because I've put the other half on as um, wheat. But it'd be interesting to see if we've got half the plot. But we can keep rolling through processes like that. Let's switch back to trailer. I have no idea what the biogas is paying. I didn't even look. I just thought, you know what? But like I said, we're going to get paid for all the everything that's in there, and then we'll buy the biogas plant. 
Naughty, I know. So yeah, what do I do? Silo, tractor, uh, new timber trailer. I thought about getting one of the long ones. If I do that, I probably need a lorry. So I would want to look at a, a cheaper lorry. As we start making money again, we... Oh, nice. We open up new processes. We open up the potential to speed up the process we do, processes we're doing already. I mean, you've already seen just the difference between having having the telehandler with that grab and having the this Adirante in its timber configuration. How much quicker we're, we're logging than just using the skid steer loader, which is what we were doing before. Skid steer loader, a couple of trailers in the pickup. The process is sped up massively. I was even considering, because it came out the other day as well, that Lizard, was it 560? The North Modding Company one, the sort of entry level tree harvester. It's a smaller version and it won't do the really big trees. Mind you, the regular harvesters won't do the really big trees. We can, we can see. We could come out of this by the time we've tipped all this in with over 300,000 in the bank. We're what, three months in? August, oh, we're around 45,000. I was thinking, that's peculiar. Why is that not allowing me to. Uh, getting quite a bit of wheel slip. But I suppose it's a big old uh, trailer and it is full. Maybe tractor then. Maybe a second tractor is probably the next order of business. That will certainly help. Something a bit faster. So the other potato has worked. We know the uh, silage is working. very happy. I'm thinking what I might do before we end this episode. This will probably be a short one. Oh, I haven't talked about oh, I haven't talked about what's happening, have I? Um, what day is this day? Depends if this posts on Wednesday. This post may post Thursday morning. I'm hoping it'll post Wednesday. Thursday is going to be a bit of a weird day. I'm all over the place Thursday. But from Friday, I'm going to be off the grid for a few days. Um, people feel free to comment feel free to still direct message me if you want to I won't be responding to comments and stuff um, I, I'm not going to say any more than that I've got some things I need to take care of but I'm going to be off the grid for a few days as to how many days that will be I'm not sure at the moment um, so I'm trying to get a few videos done now I, you know it's not obviously it's always the way when you've got something you've got to do <laughs> Especially if it involves going somewhere or going away or whatever you're doing. As well as, as well as trying to get all the stuff done, like videos and mod reviews and map tours and whatever. There's all the prep for going away. <laughs> so, you know, um, it's going to be part... I can't say, I can't say, I can't give it... Uh, it's not because I don't want to tell people that are watching. There's a very good reason why I don't want to say You know, with the weight of that on the front, it really t it just lifts those back wheels enough. There we go. Lift it up. Can I swing around that way? This is not pretty, is it? No, it's really not liking that at all. It won't. Man, it doesn't want to swing that trailer around. The trailer's just too heavy. Come on, come on, come on, turn, 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 turn. There we go. I'm gonna keep that on this time, I think. Oh well, yeah, we're gonna probably up around 350, 375. Biogassery. 
I think this one takes wood chips as well. There are different processes. I, I was doing a little, just as I kind of often do. <laughs> when I, you know, I, I kind of, I'm doing stuff and I start on an R in and think, oh, I wonder, and what about, and what about this, and what about that? I, I just tend to look stuff up, you know, because I'm curious. Um, so I was looking up, like, biogas plants and biogas operations and how they work and what they do. I mean, a fairly standard, typical biogas plant will take um, animal waste, it will take waste food products, sometimes waste water and crops, and it will go through the anaerobic digestion, which is the anaerobic digesters you've got there. Closed in unit, normally the micro microbes and bacteria and stuff in whatever's being put in is what breaks it all down. Um, and you get the biogas being produced as part of that process and then the dry matter that's left is the digestate sort of dryish matter that's left over that can then be upgraded so that can be just literally direct biogas out it comes and biogas can be used uh, by consumers as it is but there are the processes they can then do because it's not just um, methane that's being produced there's other gases in there the co2 um i think what the other ones were now there's a few different gases so that you can do like an upgrading process from there where those gases are then removed. So in that process when those gases are removed and they go through filters and all various different things, um, that's when you get biomethane. So you can have biogas, but that can be a mixture of other things. I think that's up to, I'm sure it's 70% or something methane, but then other gases in there. Um, but then when you go through the upgrading process to make just biomethane, it's pretty much methane. Um, that can then go out to consumption, gas markets, whatever. But the other side of it, which I think this one probably does, is um, what they call biomass gasification. It's a bit of a weird one, and it's regarding um, wood, uh, like wood chips and stuff like that. So they'll take wood chip, wood pulp. I'm stuck on you, aren't I? There we go. Wood chip, wood pulp, those kind of things, and they heat it. Well, not, I suppose, superheat it, like 600, 700 degrees something like that you know i'm not sure of the specifics of the degrees of you know <laughs> of what they actually get it up to um and that does the same thing that gives off various different gases um those gases given off can then also then be filtered down and produces a biomethane a biogas of its own type so having wood chips into a biogas plant isn't unusual yes you have to have separate processing kind of units i guess to do that but it's all it's all doable um, what I was more fascinated by when I was looking it up and I was doing a bit of research was that in Europe most of the biogas being produced, not all, most, a big percentage of it is crops with animal waste being um, another part of it like um, slurry and manure and that kind of stuff. In the US it's mostly municipal waste is a big chunk of the US one, um, effluent, that kind of thing. Just, it just fascinated me looking at how it was different around the world. Um, China and those regions, it was predominantly animal waste, not crops, because the crops they'll, they'll use. Whereas a lot of, across Europe, because biogas is becoming a much bigger thing, farmers and farmer states are now growing crops specifically for biogas plant, not for human consumption, which is again an interesting one. Uh, so yeah, I just thought of, while I was while I was doing this, I learned a little bit about biogas plants. Why not? <laughs> Now, that, that's taken from information that I read, and that was I read that a few days ago. Um, and that's come from what I remember. I'm no expert, and if you work at a biogas facility, like, so I'm sorry if I've got any of that wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what I read. <laughs> that's not too heavy yet, so what I'll do is swing around. So I said I'd see you in a minute. I'm doing what I always do. See you in a minute, and then talk, 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 talk. definitely going to get one of those AGI feed treatment augers feed seed treatment augers right I'm going to see you in a minute sorry I'll get this done we'll see what we're end up with we'll buy the biogas plant then probably back to the farm and maybe a silo I probably need to do some landscaping and um, we might to get a plow out again so I want to plow part of what we've already cut back for a new field I'm thinking, oh, chickens, chickens and bees, of course. Um, chickens is not any point until my wheat's ready to, to harvest. That being said, it's 
suppose that being said, I could buy some chicken feed in the meantime, just so we can get eggs underway, but I guess I'd rather do it probably. Bees we can do straight away. We can get some beehives in. We'll have some money, we'll get some beehives in. It's all extra income. I'm curious to see what happens with the uh, methane once we buy the biogas plant, how much methane it'll produce in a month and that kind of thing. I know people will have crunched the numbers and I've really done deep dives onto this stuff already, but I haven't. I'm just, just very curious. While on my trailer, lowers itself back down again. We're up to 386,000. Silage clamp is empty. I was thinking about going over and getting the rest of the silage from the from the main farm, but you know what? I think we'll, we'll be good we are with where we are. So, starting to buy a biogas plant. 25 grand, cheapest chips for a one megawatt. Thank you, Jim. We own it. And now, as you can see, we are processing. I mean, straight away, it didn't hang about, did it? That got straight on with it. Uh, let's go down and have a look. Past all our greenhouses, we have a few. Uh, I don't have any slurry in there, don't have manure, don't have sugar beet in there, but we have both of those. Um, so we're already producing... Oh no! No! Well, it doesn't matter. We got paid for it. Um, I'm just looking... Blimey, the potatoes are nearly all gone. 12,000 litres. 21,000 litres. Did that not... Did that making weird noises. Oh, did it not take the potatoes into account? Maybe not. That's peculiar. It's got some in there, which is weird. Anyway, regardless of that, I still got paid for the silage I, got, I put in there. Obviously, I put 259 odd thousand litres in there. 259,000. I kept doing that. 259,000 litres in there. And I think that only holds maybe 170, maybe 200. So yeah, we lost a little bit off that. It hasn't kept it there. Um, unless it's kind of already produced that. Maybe that's why we've got what we've done there. But we've already got methane being produced and digesto being produced at quite a rate. That's awesome. So um, our potatoes, as they generate every month, they're going to keep coming here. We'll stick them in. Slurry and manure. Um, I mean, yeah. I don't know what the methane's going to pay. I, I really don't. We're going to need to get a methane trailer. Oh, that that all chug away. Maybe it did get through all those potatoes because that's that's really honking through them at quite a rate. And I've just realised I didn't set the time right. Never mind. It's, so that speed we're on now, that is flying through that stuff. Yep, potatoes are gone. 21,000 litres. Okay. Happy. Mites are producing methane. That's good. I suppose we need to have a look at um, gear, won't we? And uh, where's it going to be? Is it under miscellaneous? Uh, there we go. Methane tanker. Oh, it's only three grand. That's the methane mod. I thought Jim would put uh, this liquid support. Hang on, what have we got here? There we go. Uh, the Western Wilds biogas. That's 8,000 litres for 9,500. Um, or oh, there's the big boy. But I think we'll go. We might as well get one. We're going to need it. I don't mind what tyres it has on it, really. Leave it on that. Ten grand, buy. I love the fact I'm acting like ten grand's nothing now. Whoa, ten grand, Ooh. come on then. Um. <laughs> and we can start selling methane as well. So we've got all sorts of stuff on the go at the moment. Feel like a proper entrepreneur. Back to the main farm. So we now own sawmill. We're producing planks. We own a biogas plant. We're producing methane and electricity, and you know, and um, the farm. We've got our logging going on. 
I do want to put in a silo, I do want to get this the stationary wood chipper and we're going to need to plough out some more land. It's going to take me a little while to get back over there actually. So um, I'll see you over there. And yeah, tractor. Hmm. A larger tractor with more horsepower. I really want one with front and rear three point link. But no, not that's going to break the bank. I don't want to spend 300 grand on a tractor. I want to get a nice, you know, I want to be an absolute cheapskate about it. Of course I do. Um, and then obviously there's plots of land. Do I do I buy another plot of land? It would make sense to invest the money. I was worried about the logging situation. Actually, while we're driving back, I'll take my eyes off the road for a minute. I shouldn't be on my phone while we're driving. Um, I don't know whether to just buy the plot next to me, but actually that clears open quite a bit. There's not as much logging on there as you'd think. I don't know, maybe plot... I mean, it's moving over quite a lot, doesn't it? Maybe plot 45 or 46 looks like it might have a fair bit on it. But then I'll be hauling logs a lot further. Hmm. I'll give that some thought too. I guess at some point, if we're going to put any more production chains in for anything, although we've got nothing to put into production chains yet, we need to th start thinking about maybe the old abandoned farm that we cleared. Um, what other production chains can we put in? It's all food for thought. I'm sure everyone will have great ideas as to what could be done. As most people often do. I decided that seeing as how the biogas plant seems to be absolutely honking through the material I've put in it. I've gone and grabbed the methane trailer that we just bought that's here on the Western Wilds and we'll go to our biomethane station and we should be able to fill this up. There we, go. we are putting methane in. The gold production which is just around the corner which we haven't been to yet I'm not going to buy yet because I think it would be advantageous not to. 8,000 kilograms, not litres, of um, well, of biogas. If we go back to our biogas plant and have a look, that has got no way has it done that already. This is flying through. We've got 67,000 litres of methane. 49,000 litres of digestate. That just steamed through all of that. 67,000 litres. The gold production... Hang on, this is insane. This is... this is. My mind's about to just fry. Methane. Gold production. I've got... Hmm? Hang on, let's just do this load. I've got 67,000 litres of it to sell. That has been produced already I just haven't right I'm going to buy a whole other field grass the whole thing <laughs> cut it grass it silage to, to methane first one is gold production I'm sure it is there you go start evading methane <laughs> oh my days, what are we going to get for one 8,000 litre load? Twenty-eight grand. Methane people, it's the future. Why is that not unloaded that last bit? Oh, is it full? Oh, does it only take a certain amount at a time? That could be the only drawback then. It, I'm assuming I don't own this. I'm assuming this has got to, it's got to chuck its way through using it. But if that's anything like, I, I don't want to buy the gold production yet. I've got all that methane. There's a lot of money in that. Mind you, that being said, where is the other place that's buying it? The gas station. Should we take a whiz down to the gas station? Let, let's do that. Let's take a whiz down to the uh, gold production. Will be something we are going to do at some point. Um, because gold sells very well and that's just a kind of smelting sh sh a smelting plant smelting plant cleaned up smelted prepared put into ingots that kind of stuff ready to go 
So buying that is worth it because you take a cut of that processing. Um, so whatever the gold is worth, you take a cut and it's worth a lot. I'd say what would be a great idea as well, in my excitement, <laughs> would be to actually put some methane in here. Um, wow, well, well, okay, this is, I, I honestly, in my head thought, get the biogas plant, we'll get some methane, it's another nice process to have in. I, I really was not expecting that. I should have actually looked at the price of methane before, but I didn't. Um, now, another reason why I'm, I want to do this now uh, was because I don't want to rush buying a silo. I want to give it some thought. I, 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 went, I started to drive over there and suddenly thought, I'm going to do a knee-jerk reaction here. I'm going to place one and then regret it. And the same with buying another tractor, I need to I need to look through the brochures, I need to give it a bit of thought. The thought of a lorry and stuff as well, something has just popped up. I'm not going to lie, at the time of recording this, mods have just popped up on the mod hub. And there's one in particular, it's the Mac Grain Hauling Pack by BC Bueller. Um, that looks really cool and it looks like it'd fit the map. I don't know what the capacity is. I haven't got a clue at the moment. I don't know what the price is. I'm literally just looking to my screen to my right, seeing that it's come out. As far as a mod review goes, I honestly don't know. They dropped another map as well, Lapacho Farm. It's a Stancia Lapacho that we had on FS17. It's the premium edition, wasn't it? Uh, it's been made by Zero Oito. It's, it's sort of reimagining of that map. The Sin tracks released today. Oh yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get onto it. I really don't. I'm just looking down the list of stuff. There's some cool stuff. But cooler than that. Now I'm wishing I'd have bought the much larger tanker. <laughs> I'm assuming the gas station might have a capacity. Uh, we want to go... Mind you, that said, if I sell all this methane, uh, then I might be able to afford a more expensive tractor. Is it here? There we go. I'm only doing this because the price between the two is negligible. If it was a massive gap, I probably wouldn't have done. We've got loads more to sell. Oh, happy days. So this is where I'm, I'm going to leave you now. Um, we have, or oh, as you've already seen, we've done some logging. We've, potatoes are growing and are fantastic. Um, as I drove back with the tractor to take the trailer back, we've got another three pallets of potatoes sitting there waiting. Um, and like I say, now I'm thinking, okay, grass, I, I need to make silage. Or sh sugar beet. <gasps> sugar beet. Maybe we should have a big sugar beet field. Anything to keep that go that biogas plant topped up. Because the more methane we can make, the more money we can make. Uh, that's the plan. Anyway, yeah, so with what's going on at the moment, I may well be able to buy another plot of land, probably get a silo, probably get a lorry, and maybe even get a tractor. I. Depending on prices, as you cut cross country, or should I go back and get more wind? Then? Can you tell I'm a little bit, a little bit hyper? Um, yeah, I'll see when some, once I've sold all the methane what we're sitting at, but we may be at a point where we can really take a sudden ramp up. You know, I mean, it took two months for that for that silage to process. It's not like I've done it in like five minutes. It's taken a while to get to where we are, and again, it's all the prep work. Doing the prep work in advance has made this bit seem easy. It's like, oh, but you're making money so easy now. Admittedly, the, me the methane, I really wasn't expecting the biogas plant to process that quickly. Um, but even so, that being said, and I did kind of lose a little bit while I was doing it. Anyway, like I said, this is where we're going to leave it for this episode. Progress has been made. Money is being made. All is good in the Western Wilds. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're still enjoying it. If you have, and if you are, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.